So we can play a co-op, we could do Forever Evil, which Dead hasn't done. You've done Teen Titans uh, as well as the others, right, Dead? Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Teen I ran Titans, you through. I've played Teen Titans. But it all, all comes down to the th same thing, right? If you've played, if you've played one of them, you, you can play all of them. Kind of. Each has a different type of mechanic that they focus on. Like Teen Titans focuses on ongoing cards. Forever Evil focuses on destroying cards. Um, Heroes United focuses on um, a lot of cards that let you pull things out of your discard pile usually. And then there's the base game, which I don't really know what that is. It's got a lot of interesting cards. It's a neat, I don't know. I don't know what to say the main game has. It's, it was the original, so it's kind of a little all over the place. But want to do Crisis again? Co-op? Sure, let's do sure. Crisis Co-op. I'm going to co-op you guys to death. So we'll do it with the main game. Grab the Crisis cards. And then I like how I get that warning over 2.8 gigs of RAM in use. Using over 3.2 of RAM can cause application instability. Ooh. Which is a good thing that you destroy most of these first. I think the person that did this should probably put them all in bags instead of all out. Because that's what's causing the memory. There we go. Alright, so we get rid of the regular heroes for favor of crisis heroes. We get rid of the supervillains for crisis supervillains. We add 32 more cards to the main deck. And we have crisis cards. We get rid of the new hero. So now there's three of us. So let me see what the setup for three people is. Uh, 11 villains instead of 13. So 11 villains and 11 cards. Okay. So 11, 10. So I need nine. Anti-monitor goes to the bottom. This guy goes on top. <laughs> so we need 11 crisis cards then, right? So that's 10, 11, yep. Arkham Breakout. All right, so Grace, since you kind of missed the explanation, the differences here are you can't buy villains. Okay. Villains, when you go to buy them, just get destroyed. Okay. But you cannot attack the supervillain until the current crisis has been resolved. Okay. So, and you can't resolve the crisis unless there are no villains in the lineup. Doesn't the main deck have all sorts of cards that interact with villains? Uh, not necessarily. That's why I'm kind of doing it with this one. I think it's um, this one's a little less dependent on on the interactivity between them. Like, doesn't it have things like? Pull out villains from your discard or something like that? That's more Heroes United. Oh, okay. But anyway. Okay, so. Um, Alright, so as I mentioned, so you, there can be no heroes in the lineup when we go to try and complete this or no, no villains in the lineup when we go to try and beat the crisis. We can't attack the villain unless the crisis is completed. So we have to clear the lineup of villains and then do the crisis. Yep. And then now the one, once the crisis is completed, there can be villains in the lineup, and we can still attack the supervillain. Okay. It's just for just for beating the crisis, there can't be any. So take your car, take your decks, shuffle them up, and then I will give us all our heroes. Is it uh, is the line to broken from you or everyone? Kind of the, the number kind of sticks around. Oh yeah, it does that too. If you mouse over something, it should clear up. Yeah, I, I think okay, that that was a bug recently introduced. I think because okay. I've been noticing that too. Well, it just wasn't sure if it was me or everyone. Uh, da, 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 host chest saved objects. Do you want one of these things, Gray? Sure. 
Here, I'll make them larger for you. Boom and boom. All right, so I love let me it. Hand, let me hand out the heroes so you guys can we can all decide on who we want to play as. I can't do it. What area? What the fuck? Why did mine fly to you? I don't know, man. What the fuck were you doing? What are you guys what? doing? What'd you do? It Bird. kind of bugged out. It suddenly flew to dead and then it just started roaming the place. All over. Kind of weird. Right. Alright, so. Doo doo. Oh, I got Martian again. Yeah, or Flash. I think I want Martian. One of my hero has a when you buy or gain a villain from the lineup, but you said we destroy villains. Yes, but you still technically buy them from the lineup. Okay. So you would still have the effect. To the bottom of the main deck. So to the bottom of this one. Mm-hmm. How is that helpful? Uh, well, remember, if the main deck gets uh, complete, if we go through the main deck, we lose. Oh right. So it's kind of a stall tactic in a way. Not only that, but since it's a, you can choose whatever card goes at the bottom, uh, as long as it's cost one or greater, that means if there's a card that they have that they don't necessarily need, basically we would communicate and try and decide what we would want to do. So maybe Green Lantern. Green Lantern is not Might too bad either because you can avoid attacks. For the group? It's kind of more useful, yeah. I think I'm going to go with Wonder Woman. So what does Wonder Woman do? When you buy or gain a villain uh, from the lineup, choose a player. That player may destroy a vulnerability or weakness in his hand or discard pile. Oh, that's cool, actually. That's quite helpful. So Wonder Woman could be our cleanup. Uh, what was your other option? Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. Batman. If you have played two or more equipment, you may choose a player. That player discards his hand and then draws one fewer cards than he discarded. Well, it's a good way to reset your hand if you need it. Yeah, but it's kind of situational. I think Wonder Woman is more universally applicable. Yeah. All right. So Wonder Woman, and you're going to be you're going to be Lantern. Cool. So Wonder Woman, Lantern, and I don't know if I want to be Martian Manhunter or Flash. I don't really know. You want to Flash Wonder Woman? I want to Flash Wonder Woman. Flash would totally do that. Um, I could it would go be for so it. quick she wouldn't even see it. I know. That's what they all say. <laughs> Martian Manhunter or the Flash. Flash allows people to draw cards. Martian Manhunter allows for heroes to be put back on top of decks. But like, so, like I said, when I had to choose between Superman and Flash... Eight cards. Yeah, that is a lot, if, man. Yeah, but if you think about it, eight uh, five cards is your default, so you just need three more cards. But yeah, I'm thinking. That is kind of a lot. I think means, that means you would have to have a lot of draw more card cards. So I'll go with John. We all know I'm going to grab those. All right, so let's see who goes first. Do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, I guess it's me. You cheated. Totally did. <coughs> Alright, draw your fives. And then let's fill up the lineup. It's kind of interesting that Batman is the punch and Superman is the vulnerability. Two, three, four... Okay, so due to Arkham Breakout, any villains um, with an attack are treated as a first appearance attack. So let's see. We got one villain, and that villain does have an attack, so we have to all resolve it. Each foe discards the top card of his deck. If it is one or greater, we gain a weakness. I don't think that's a problem for any of us, since none of us have a cost of one or greater. So I discard a punch. 
I discarded a bunch also. Bleh. Looks like we all did. Okay, so that's done. Now it's my turn. I've got a three. I could get either the trident or the power ring. They're both plus two right now. The power ring can possibly be plus three. I'm tempted to get the trident because it lets me put cards on top of my deck. Uh, do you wait, want wait, turn wait, on wait, 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 wait. Um, you defend it? Uh, no. No, we all discarded one. I could possibly... It's just one punch card. It's really early. I probably wouldn't discard. Unless, do you have three cards you oh. want to... He has proven nobody's there. All right. Who do you want to block it for? You may choose a player. Who do you want to block it for? You both discarded a punch? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it came I, from the top of the deck, so block it for gray. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I'll block it for gray then. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. So that works. Um, I will grab... I'm going to grab the trident. It just seems best. Okay, so I bought something, draw up to five. Hold on, I got a free shuffle. Get one more. Uh, okay, so into my turn, we get one more card, and it goes to dead. Right. Ooh, x ray vision. Uh, let's see. I have two power. Wow. Uh, so you can't really buy anything. I can't buy nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. All right. So, all right. Put those back. So here's the downside. We get one card, and then because of Raws, we get another card. Right. Ooh, it's one of the Crisis cards, I believe. Machine's mm -hmm. Corset. Any number of choose any number of players. Each of those players draws a card. Plus one power for each player who draws a card this way. Wow. That's pretty powerful. All right. Gorilla Grodd showed up, but he does not have an attack, so we're good. Gray, it's your turn. Full power. All right. So there's X-Ray Vision, which is really good. Power Ring. Nice. Um, you can get rid of... Well, none of us have a vulnerability or anything, right? So you don't really need to do that yet with Wonder Woman. Well, I think... Wait, what? Uh, the Green Lantern should have some... Oh, he had to shuffle up. No, the because that attack didn't add weaknesses or vulnerability. Or wait, hold on. Is it vulnerabilities as well? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it is vulnerabilities. So if you... But he had to shuffle up, so... Yeah. So may destroy vulnerability or weakness in his hand or discard. Um, oh, wait, hand I right. have a couple in my hand. What about you, Dead? Do you have any vulnerabilities? In my hand? Yeah. Nope. Nope. All right. So if he does it... I think it, I might actually want some power, though. I feel like I yeah, I mean it's it's a tough decision because you have a chance to remove one and, and improve our decks, oh uh, but at the same time you could also get more power yourself. Um, I've only got three for my next turn, so kind of wondering power of the red. Do I really need power of the red if I'm going to be destroying vulnerabilities anyway? Am I still here? Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> it has been quiet. It's kind of difficult because I still got to resist the urge to f try and fuck everybody else over. Don't do that. We're a team. Because yeah. we're, we're a team. If you yeah. fuck us over, you fuck yourself over. It's difficult. It's difficult. So I guess I could leave Wix Ray Vision for you if you have only you, three. You can't fuck me over because you have to be grateful because I gave you your extra punch. Yeah, see? I let you have your eggs earlier. Be grateful. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to get the power of the red. Uh, you have one, two, three, four. So power of the red. What is that? Well, that's another crisis card. Uh, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. Oh, because it lets you cycle. Mm -hmm. Do you want that now, or do you want to get something with power on it? I think 
I get, I'll get that one now because I feel like early getting the vulnerabilities out of my hands may be more useful than straight up power. All right, grab at least, that. At least that's how I feel. Like. All right. So Roz doesn't kick in, but we add one to the deck, and it is Cheetah who has no attack. Okay, good. Cheetah, Ra. Cheetah. All right, my turn then. And mm-hmm. Dead never ended his turn, so I will do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I've got three. I'm going to, ow, get stomped on by a cat. X-ray is good. X-ray would give a bunch of different power. So we're a team, right? Yes. All right. So does hand? Each foe reveals the top card of his deck. Well, foe is short for all other players. You know, in this case, foe will be all other players. Um, but then it returns it to the owner's deck. That's the downside to that one. Mm-hmm. Why is it a downside? Do you want to steal our cards? No, I was hoping it would go back to your hand. It would reduce your your guys' power by using it, basically. I'm going to grab no, the power. No. It says reveal the top card of the deck, and then it goes back to on top of the deck. I'm oh, not the sure. top card of the deck. Oh, you're right. Hold on. None of us really deal with superpowers, because none of us is Superman. Um... I'm going to take that one. I'll take that one. All right, into my turn. Card goes into the lineup. It's my turn again. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and he gets equipment cards, but none of us have equipment. None of us really got, other than me, no one got a, a right. focused card. You can get the location. Mm, indeed. Additional card draw. That is card draw, which is nice. quite helpful has to be cost two or three. Do you have any cards that you've bought yet, though? Um, well, that one's also... Oh, out. yeah. You could either get the location or the corset, and the corset basically makes all players draw a card, and you get additional power for everybody that so does. I think that is actually more powerful than just one card more. Yeah. The Titan's Tower will probably let you have card draw every turn afterwards once you get more cards, but yeah, the corset was probably a pretty good starter. Yeah. If you're going to cause it early, it's going to just... Because yeah. that'll give you four sure, power. In that That's like... Holy shit. Hold on. Any number of players. Four players. Each of those players draws a card. Plus one for Why each player. That's a four? four power card. Why four? Sorry, three. Who's our fourth player? There's um, uh, Bob the Invisible Man. <laughs> it's a three power card. That's still good. And everybody gets one card draw, so yeah. All right. So that'll go... Oops. Sorry. Equipment... Oh snap, now he got to get Robin. Because Robin in the corset is going to be overkill. Oh yeah, putting equipment from your discard into your hand? Yeah, we should probably leave Robin for dead. dead. Yep. <laughs> that way it can synergize. I See, like this is interesting. Sentence. It's a deck builder where we actually help each other build decks. I like that sentence. We leave Robin for dead. <laughs> we leave Robin for dead. Well, you know, that's what Batman did a long time ago. Yeah. Todd. Go. Flip it over. The Rot. Ooh, it's a crisis location. First time you play a weakness or vulnerability during each of your turns, draw a card. That's not bad. Oops. Nice job. Nice job breaking it, hero. Thanks. By the way, do, are we allowed to see each other's hand? Uh, I wouldn't, just because this card says we have to do a silent. Oh, and right. Okay, makes sense. Okay, I got three. So I'm going to get myself some Robin. No. It's difficult not to fuck people over. So, any benefits to destroying a villain in the lineup? Well, we have to in order to beat the crisis. Oh, right. Not only that, but you, specifically, allow any players to remove vulnerabilities. Okay. <laughs> you do that three, if you don't, if you, you can, I would leave Robin for dead. Yep. You could either get, <laughs> like, yeah, again, you could either get the power ring, or you could destroy one of these to help improve one of our decks. I think I'll start with destroying Poison Ivy, improve my own deck a little bit. Okay. 
So poison ivy goes here, and you've got a vulnerability to get rid of. All right. Then I have to shuffle up. All right, so we'll put another card out into the lineup. Animal Man, plus two power. Choose a card type. Reveal the top card of your deck if it has that type. Draw it. Hmm, interesting. Not bad. All right, my turn. I have four. And I need heroes. But I'm not going to get Robin, obviously. Because, again, we're leaving Robin for dead. I just can't get enough of that. It's <laughs> pretty great. Um, I might grab Animal Man, because if I play two heroes, I can put heroes on top of discard piles. It's either that or the Power Ring. Power Ring's good, too, but I think I need the heroes, and that's two power anyway. So I'll grab Animal Man for my hero deck. Wow. If you play two heroes and you put Robin back on top of Dad's deck and he can play the... Yeah, the magicians cause it like three, four times. Wow. We could we could really synergize that. Actually, it's it's a pretty good deal. I think. All right, so I'll get four more cards. Why is it? Oh, it's because it's locked, for some reason. Why did it only give me three? One, two. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. I'm good. Into my turn. We add a card. Batmobile! And we lost Gray again. Poor Gray. And don't you need to replace the card also? I put one in. It's the Batmobile. Okay, we so need to... Shouldn't it be here now? It doesn't matter. Alright, whatever. I have uh, two. Oh, shit, so you can't even buy him. You can buy the Batmobile, though. That'll keep him from uh, putting more cards out. I'll do that, then. Either that or Cheetah, if you don't want the Batmobile. So, uh, let me think. The Batmobile's good for redrawing your hand if you get a crap hand. Uh, otherwise, it's just one power. So. Yeah, okay, but this now goes on my discard, and this too. This also. That end my turn, so now I shovel up again, right? Uh, yep. So I will add cool. a card to the lineup, and it is the Inth Metal. Welcome back, Gray. I remember that one. Not sure if he's back in the call yet, though. Might not be. But you should be able to end your turn now that he's back, so... Oh, right. what did I miss? Uh, it's your turn. He couldn't afford Robin, so oh. he had to get the Batmobile. Yeah, Batman. <laughs> Batman chose Batmobile over Robin and left Robin for dead. <laughs> yep. Sounds about right. I mean, we did leave Robin for dead. So totally. Basically. Robin's just there, bleeding out. Oh damn! One, two. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hmm. Draw up for one. What did you forget to do, though? There. Draw. Going up? No. Oh. Okay, so you can get one of the main villains. Uh, you can get more power. The location, even. Oh. Um, I'm just thinking we should probably start working on the villain so we can get rid of the crisis and start working on the crisis stack. The problem is we have no vulnerabilities around right now. Uh, I do. Oh, you do? Oh, right. I just meant in discard. So it's in hand or discard. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All the locations are kind of nice. And Gorilla Grodd is a five, so he's hard to get rid of naturally. So if you want to clear him out, it would be awesome. No, yeah, but I'm still kind of building up my power. Like, I only have ten cards right now. I feel like I should increase that. Well, here's the thing. If we get rid of the of the crisis, then we don't have to worry about attacks anymore. Oh, true. And then, and then the moment one of us gets nine power, we can get Raz Al Ghul out. That's true, I guess. Hmm. It's looking I mean, I want to get you more cards too, but like, there's we're we're we want to be careful about getting overrun. We're only on the first villain. That's true. Okay. Well, more I guess more I'll cards take... is nice, but priorities. 
Oh, very priorities, fucking you guys over. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Yes, occasionally. Totally. <sighs> I guess it, is up, it is up to you. I mean, <coughs> vulnerability loss would be kind of nice, but, you know. Yeah, I guess I'll, yeah. You guys better do something great for me, Dongabine. So who are you picking? You, since you said you have one. Yeah. All right, fine. I'll do something great for you down the line. We do something great for you every week. Namely, put up with you. Oof. <laughs> I do something great by bracing you with my presence. Oh, wow. You guys are terrible. Draw up. All right. Now I'm going to ask you guys <laughs> for this crisis. Do you guys have non-starter cards? In my hand right now? In my hand? Yes, I do. One. The one card yes. that I do have. Yes, yes, I do. Non-starter All right. cards in my hand right, right, All right. now. Yes. I'm going to get rid of... I think I'm going to just get rid of the villain. And then we can resolve the crisis. Um, because it's unfortunate I have a really good setup that I could buy something and just put it right on top of my deck but I want to get rid of this crisis so that we can work on Raws so <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play my Trident get rid of Cheetah there are now no villains in the lineup I want to resolve the crisis so each of us That's must uh, discreetly uh, each player secretly puts a card from their hand face down and then discards them. Actually, I'm going to do this, too. All right, so I'm discreetly putting a card face down. If you two could as well. We are not allowed to talk about it. And each, each card has each card has to have a different name. So each keep card that has in to mind. Have a different name, so yeah. play something so, that you think the others don't have. Yeah. That's why he why he asked if you have non-starter cards because if we if two of us play a punch or a vulnerability, we're kind of fucked. So put each of you put a card face down for the crisis. You're such a jerk. And then it goes back into her hand, right? No. Uh, it should. It just says... Uh, oh, wait, it does? It does? No, it says discard them. Uh, each card must secretly place a card in his hand face down, and then... Okay, it's going to be discarded, so yeah. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's got to be discarded, but we can get rid of the crisis. Uh, yep, it hurts, doesn't it? But we won't get attacked anymore with this, if we do it right. Uh, I'm sacrificing power to help us get rid of this crisis. Be thankful. You, don't, you, have, you, have, you have no idea what I'm sacrificing. All you right. have no idea what I'm sacrificing. Reveal. I'm revealing my trident. Power of the red and... Oh, the corset. That does suck. That sucks I for all of us. I was tempted to do a vulnerability. <laughs> However, <laughs> the crisis is now resolved. Same here. Two power. All right. I have nothing else. So I'm going to just... Boop, boop, boop. Wait. Why do I not have five cards? I had two punches and two... Oh, you made me get rid of a vulnerability. That's right. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to draw out the five. And now, the end of my turn... Magic. Choose a card you played this turn. Play it again. And then destroy it. What? Yeah, it lets you replay a card, but you have to destroy the card you replayed. That's so. kind of unpleasant. It can be pretty powerful. What about victory points? Do they matter? Uh, in this mode, not necessarily. Okay. So now, if anyone gets nine power, we can get rid of Roz. Hell, I'll, I'll I'll try. Maybe we should let our decks grow a little first. Like as mentioned, I only have one new card right, so, so you've far. got three, so you can get Robin now. Oh, I can get Robin. Robin. <laughs> I better be two value value card. So you've got Robin. If I can get a couple heroes, I can help you get Robin back onto your deck. Um, Robin, <laughs> get the corset. Robin's going to be on top of my deck soon enough. So often, yeah. And the magic cause is going to keep happening. All right, so uh, end of your we turn. A new card? We get a new card. Yay! Kid Flash. Thank you. Fucking fine. Thanks to you, I didn't have any fucking power because you made me discard the one card that would get me power. I'm sorry. Get your card draw now. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you too. Um, you right. Do. So we get another card. The utility belt is out. It's my turn. Mm. 
All right, so I'll go ahead and x-ray vision to take a look at the tops of your decks. You've got the Batmobile and a vulnerability. So I guess I'm playing the Batmobile for one power. Oh, well, that kind of works. One power. I'm going to play Animal Man and choose a card type and reveal the top. I'm going to choose Starter. Yay! Wow. All right, so plus two power, reveal the top of your deck. If it has that type, draw it. So cool, I get my punch. Boom, boom. So that gave me one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven. So a seven, not enough to get Raws. Um, I could get the Utility Belt. But he's only plus two power. That's a victory point card, so it's not as powerful as it would appear. Um, I have threes and fours. I could get the Titan's Tower for card draw. Um, yeah, maybe clear out some of the, yeah, I'll get the tower. What do I have for, I have seven. Mm -hmm. So two left. Seven, hold on. That means I could buy through two cards. Yep. That, <coughs> I don't know. That's tempting, but at the same time not. You can also get the rod and one of these. That's true. Weakness or a vulnerability, draw a card. Well, you, I have one less vulnerability, so that's not as big. Sean is asking if we've played Forever Evil. He thinks it's the most balanced. I don't know about that. Forever uh, Evil has a weird balance to it. There's a lot of destruction in that. I like Heroes United the best so far, but... I'm pretty sure I haven't played that one. <laughs> you haven't played that one yet, no. All right, I'm just going to grab the location. That leaves me with power I can't spend, but... I'll take the location. It's fine. All right. Two. Flip that over. All right. Three. And then we add one to the deck. There we go. High oh, tech. nice. Ooh. Oh, no. There are more three cards. Yeah, there's plenty of three cards. I didn't buy them. So you've got three. Uh, high tech hero, superpower, and equipment. So you have an equipment. We just need more for you. Need some superpowers too. I guess some kicks wouldn't hurt for that. Um, high tech hero is probably not the best right now because he really dep depends on you having played a superpower and equipment. So he's only one power otherwise. You may want the ring or the nth metal. The nth metal will let you destroy cards you don't want. The ring is just. Straight up power. Yeah. I would probably. Fine. Think it, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You still didn't finish your turn, by the way. I know. I'm, I'm a bad, bad man. But you're the Martian Manhunter. I'm a bad, bad manhunter. No wonder you're a bad, bad man. Mm hmm. All right, so you get to draw up. The new card is X ray vision. Oh, nice. Okay, my turn. Yep. I draw a card, which, thanks to you, already know is a vulnerability. Does it make you draw one card if there's only one card? Yeah, I know. Because it doesn't qualify as a deck. Yeah. So now you get to shuffle up, right? So. I'm just cutting that one of you. That means I get to draw a new card. There's a punch. Oh, nice. So you got four? Mm-hmm. I'm having really breathtaking for four. Yeah. I think it's not settled for x ray vision. Alright. Alright then, so for the end of your turn, we'll add one card. And it is Arkham. You play your first villain. Oh, and once again, I've got the trident to put a card on top of my deck, but I can get rid of Roz. The new thing would uh, pop up, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we get attacked, and everything would be just bad. Bad times for everyone. <laughs>